How are you feeling? Um, my eyes are hard. My, well, my throat's so hard. So you're starting to feel a little bit better? A little. A little. Good. Jesse managed to get himself sick. Took a dead deal, sad face. It started yesterday. I picked him up from school and he said that his throat hurt a lot. He had a little temperature of like 99.4, but Olivia also wasn't feeling good yesterday either. Hers were allergies though. She was sneezing, her eyes were watering. So we gave Olivia some allergy medicine and a little bit of Tylenol and she was better. Jesse, on the other hand, he just got worse through the night and then he woke up this morning and his temperature was 101.4. Well, obviously neither one of the kids are gonna go to school today. I called the doctor's office. They are gonna see him this morning. They are requiring us to wait in the car and then go in through a back door. So since he has a temperature, he's not allowed to like go in the lobby or in the waiting room, which is completely understandable. I assume it's gonna come back of just like strep throat or something, but we're gonna get him checked out just to be safe. Hey, Here we go. Jesse, come get your mask. Jump in. It takes a long time. It takes a long time. It sometimes it does at the doctor's office. They're very busy. They have lots of people to see. Hmm. Mm -hmm. One eternity later. Can I play my Xbox when we get home? Can you play your Xbox when we get home? I'll think about it. Okay. Jesse's taking advantage of the fact that he knows when he's sick, TV time and tablet time all go out the window. Aren't you? Oh, I see that little grin back there. You want some lunch too? Mm -hmm. Okay, so we just came home from the doctor's office. The kids are starving and requiring lunch. Jesse, yours just beeped. What? Yours is ready. Okay. Jesse's having some leftover spicy vegan mac and cheese. Very delicious. You need to microwave that a little longer. Nice. Because that's not ready yet. How's it not ready yet? barely warm. Madeline is barking at the neighbors. So she's mad because she wants to go back outside and Olivia is waiting on me to get her lunch. So we will do all that, have some lunch, and then I'll tell you guys everything the doctor said. Is that clearing out your nose? A little bit. Spicy mac and cheese helping? Cause your nose wasn't runny enough already. Hey mom. Hey yes, sweetie. My pure nose looks like my nose even better. Oh, it makes your nose feel better too. I'm so glad. Why are you asking if your lunch has protein? Because if it has protein, I would be clearing my sinuses and get it eating protein at the same time. Well, that that sauce is like made out of cashews. Okay. So yes, it's good for you, it's healthy. Are you asking if you can play the video game? Mm -hmm. uh, uh, it's getting yeah, a little. It's you can play the video game while Olivia naps. All right, so I don't feel like I did a very good ex I don't 
don't feel like I did a very good job explaining this morning what had happened. So yesterday, Olivia woke up sick. She has seasonal allergies, usually pretty bad in the spring. Sometimes she gets a little congestion and stuff like that in the fall. Gave her some allergy medicine. You could tell she wasn't feeling good, but her temperature was staying at like 99, 100, so not a big deal or surprise. But then when I picked up Jesse from school yesterday, he was complaining of what? My throat. Your throat hurt. hurts. Mm -hmm. Yeah. And then when Alan came home from work, he was also complaining that he felt like total crap and was not feeling well either. So the combination of all three of them being sick was kind of a little concerning for me. So we gave everybody some medication last night, waited to see how they're doing this morning. I didn't bother waking up either one of the kids this morning for school because I knew neither one of them would be going. Both of them actually slept in not surprising at all for Jesse, he sleeps in all the time, but Olivia never sleeps in, so that was a little surprising. Olivia's temperature this morning was fine, Jesse's was at 101.4 this morning. So I called the doctor's office because kids now can't go back to school without a doctor's note when they miss a day for being sick. Um, and plus I figured he had strep throat because he's claiming his throat hurts. So if he needed antibiotics, I wanted to go ahead and get him started on it. So the doctor looked over both Olivia and Jesse. Since I had to take an Olivia, since I was taking a Jesse, I figured I'd just go ahead and see both of them. Seemed easier. And she said both of them looked, um, obviously they were sick, but they, they looked like they just had some viral infection. So some type of cold going on right now. Not surprising this time of year, plus they're both back in school, germs going around. She said that she has no signs of either one of them having COVID. And so that really wasn't a concern. We didn't need to be tested for that, um, which neither one of them are coughing and stuff. The only thing that's kind of an alert is the fact that he had a fever. And sneezing. Yeah. Well, you guys are sneezing, runny nose, watery eyes, things like that. Yeah, I haven't had watery eyes, just had sneezing and runny nose. Olivia has watery eyes. Mm -hmm. Yeah, but um, no indication of need to be tested for COVID, so they're both good with that. I don't, you had most of the information. I was just there for the checkup. No, oh, you were the important part. Otherwise, I wouldn't be there. Anyway, so the doctor said they look great. The doctor said probably just keep them home. Jesse needed to be fever free for 48 hours instead of the traditional 24 before going back to school. So we're just gonna keep them both home the rest of this week. It's Wednesday, by the way. Um, so they're gonna stay out of school Wednesday, Thursday, Friday. And go back Monday. And then go back Monday, assuming that this clears up in a couple days. And then they'll be all better. She said give them some antihistamines, help them, which we already started Olivia on that. And Jesse just took some antihistamines and then some ibuprofen and things to kind of reduce any type of nasal swelling and things like that. She said his throat didn't look strep throatish at all, that it was just a little irritated, but no, no need to test him that he looked good there. So no antibiotics. Yay, that's a win. Yeah. <laughs> so now that Olivia is asleep, Although I hear her in there, I think she's playing with her baby dragons instead of sleeping. But Jesse's gonna get to go upstairs, play some video games for a little while. And then when Alan comes home, we'll probably just order pizza tonight because he has requested that for lunch and I denied him that privilege. <laughs> so we'll have some pizza for dinner. Six hours later. Dad? It's kind of light switch, sweetie. I didn't turn it off. <laughs> You never turned it on. So I just picked up the pizza. Jesse has been up here for six hours doing nothing but playing video games nonstop for six hours. Mm -hmm. Da da da. Look at that concentration. He won't move. Oh, All right, sweetie. It's time to turn it off, Jesse. We're gonna eat pizza now. I'm in the middle of a fight right now, though. Okay, well, I'll eat pizza without you. I'll try to find a pause button. Mm-hmm. So, Alan came home. He is not feeling any better. Nope. Can I take my hat off? I don't care. Okay. I can't believe you left it on all day. Yeah. He was playing video games. He couldn't be bothered. All right, pizza and Big Bang. Mm. 
In here emerges the sleepy and exhausted teenager from seven hours on the TV. You ready for bed? Yeah. Let me put these plates away. A few inches later. One hundred and one point zero. Let me see. Yep. Get you some fever reducer. Mm -hmm. Good morning. Good girl. How you feeling this morning, Jesse? Better. Feeling a lot better? Yeah, it's just my throat scratching now. Still a scratchy throat. I think the Zyrtec is really helping to make the kiddos feel better, but it's not helping for Alan yet. If I get this open. That's the kid's Zyrtec. I'll do this. That one's a chewable tablet. He hates it. He'd prefer a regular tablet so he can just swallow it. This one. Okay, you can do that one. Red. Um. Red. Yellow. Gray. Blue. And green. Very good. Now, can you trace the lines? <laughs> yes, I got it open. I got it open. Okay. Don't drop it on the floor. See, it's a chewable tablet. So Jesse, what's your plans today? Uh, Play on your tablet next box? Pretty much? Still feeling better? I felt better than yesterday. Good, improvement's good. Over there is a pile of clothes to go sell. Um, I had a scheduled appointment today, but we had to reschedule that. Obviously, we're not going to drag sick kids around. If you guys haven't seen the video where I talk about money-saving secrets on shopping, this is part of it, one of those secrets. So I will link it up here above if you want to click on it and go watch that too. Eventually. I just made dinner. It's about a quarter after seven. Nobody is bothered getting dressed. Jesse, what have you been doing all day? Tablet. Playing on this tablet. And a little bit of all video day. games. Are you feeling better? A, a little bit. Well enough to go to school tomorrow? No. It's Friday. The kids are still staying home from school. And yeah, my throat still hurts. Mm -hmm. It still hurts? Mm -hmm. It's like it's just a little bit. No. That's okay. You guys will be back to school on Monday. Yay! Yay! We just had lunch a little bit ago and Jesse finally got dressed and so did I. I actually have jeans on. So quite an accomplishment. Jesse's pretty much acting completely better. He has no temperature today at all whatsoever. So I think we're doing really well. Day four. Both Olivia and Alan are doing better. And I so far have yet to get sick. Which is so exciting. I, I'm so happy I didn't have to deal with this, so. Yay! Don't jinx it. Don't jinx it. I, fingers crossed. Hopefully I don't get sick. So all he did for three straight days was play video games, watch TV, and play on his tablet. Mm -hmm. Eat and sleep. Hmm. Mm-hmm. Fun three days of being sick? Mm-hmm. Now back to reality. Yeah. This was not the video we were planning on doing this week. I was actually had it planned out to do another one of our food videos where we talk about how to get kids to eat anything, even with autism. So if you haven't seen our first video in that series, I will link it up above and you guys can check that out. And comment down below if you guys want to see anything specific in that next food video. So like I said, we're gonna do a series on that to help kids learn how to eat better. We'll have that for you in two weeks. Thank you guys so much for watching and I please subscribe and leave a like. And if you haven't, if you need notifications about our new videos that we post, or the, click the uh, bell. Mm -hmm. Do you know why it's important for people to do that? 
so that we can get more views and um, um, get more likes. Mm -hmm. What happens if we do that? Um, so what happens is when you actually interact with our videos, watch them all the way through, hit the like button, leave a comment. It tells YouTube that people actually want to see this. The more people that see this, the more people understand autism and the more common autism is, and it helps bring awareness to kids with autism. Hmm. Yeah. Oh, I actually didn't know that. Well, now you do. So guys, go ahead and give us a big like, thumbs up, comment down below, and we will see you in the next video. Thanks for watching. Bye. Bye. Click on this video. Will you please click on this video? Come on. Push it. Can you please subscribe? Can you please push that subscribe button? Or for the other video, you can press this button. Go on. Click this button. Or this button. Or this button. Well, mostly this button. I would like it if you did.